Partners of English Essay Competition are Slovak Chamber of English Language Teachers Martinus The Slovak Spectator and The Bridge gentlemen, hello and welcome to this year's English Essay Competition Ceremony. My name is Andrea. And my name is Sophie. And we will be your hosts for this evening. As you can see, we are currently in the Leaf Academy building in the city center of Bratislava, but most of you are probably watching us from different parts of Slovakia. And this evening, we are here to celebrate and also award the winners of this year's uh, ceremony. If there is someone among you viewers who doesn't know what this writing competition was about, let us summarize it briefly. This is the second year of this competition. Uh, the students were divided into three categories, category A, B and C. We just have to say how delighted and pleased we are to have received 155 essays from all cor corners of Slovakia, from Pieszczany, Galanta, Bratislava, Ružomberok, Žilina, Košice, Litovsky Mikuláš, and so on. Thank you to all who sent the essays. We would also like to thank Martinus Bookstore, the Bridge English Language Center, uh, the Slovak Spectator, and the Slovak Chamber of English Language Teachers, which are the partners of this competition. And now, Sophie, would you please introduce the program of this evening? Of course. After this short introduction, we will read and present the messages that our jurors, Mrs. Anna Jančeva, Mrs. Matsela Chabova, and Mr. Matthew McGeever prepared for our dear participants. In the upcoming minutes, you can look forward to the announcing of every of the three categories, um, the brilliant performances of the LEAF Academy students, followed by a short introduction of LEAF Academy. In the very end, uh, a few extracts from some of our essays will be presented as well. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. And as was mentioned just a few seconds ago by Sophie, the essays have been read and assessed by our jurors. And even though there can only be one winner, um, uh, the jurors decided to congratulate all of our participants. Here are their words of appreciation. Dear winners, dear contestants, I would like to congratulate you, but uh, most of all I would like to say thank you. Thank you for your original ideas, thank you for your clear thought, thank you for looking for the arguments and examples, thank you for your open-mindedness. Uh, all these skills are really important nowadays, so I hope that you will still develop them and uh, that uh, they will help to improve our society. So thank you once again and congratulations. First of all, I'd like to say a very big well done to everyone who took part in the competition. I am in awe of anyone who can write an essay in a foreign language, choosing the right word, looking for a phrase which encapsulates a certain thought, not to mention paying attention to the structure and flow of the essay as well as keeping to the topic. The quality of the essays in terms of lexis, grammar, and structure was outstanding, but equally good was the level of maturity displayed in the essays, whether an objective examination of issues the world is facing or personal subjectivity discussing emotions and feelings. Choosing winners was not an easy task, but it was actually a pleasure to be faced with this problem. Ultimately, 
Each of the winners showed excellent essay writing techniques, combining linguistics with analysis, structure with personal opinion. Upon reading these essays, I actually felt more aware of a certain situation or was persuaded by the arguments presented in the writing. Hallmarks of a well-crafted piece of writing. I sincerely hope that all participants will feel motivated by this experience and be eager to continue writing in English, either as an entrant in the next year's competition or elsewhere, for a student magazine, a personal blog, at university, or in future employment. Congratulations again, and wishing everyone all the best. Dr. Matthew McGeever, English language teacher, the Bridge Language Center. Good evening, everyone. I'm very happy that under the current circumstance, we were able to organize this little ceremony to congratulate the authors of the best essays on their good work and thank the organizing institutions for this change and their kind support. As a senior lecturer of English and academic writing at two Slovak universities, I had a chance to take part in the assessment of the essay competition for the second time and I was excited to see the increasing number of participants and the high level of linguistic and personal competencies that the essays have shown this year. Our decision, therefore, was very difficult, since the essays were great, well-structured, with clearly expressed arguments, correctly provided references, and especially full of unique, authentic ideas. We were able to process the given topics from various sides, show different aspects and points of view, generally supported by valid facts. In other cases, to present your genuine, fresh and authentic ideas based on a well-chosen, topic-related quote or statement. I'm glad that you took the time to engage in this creative work, since the results came out really great. Thanks for participating in this round of the competition and hope to see you some of your papers next year too. Wish you all the best and good luck with your studies. Thank you to the jurors for their beautiful messages. Now we will be announcing the winners of category A. And this category was prepared for 8th and 9th grade students from primary school and year one and year two students from secondary schools. We would like to welcome three young ladies whose essays were evaluated as the best in category A. We welcome with us Patricia Melova from Gymnasium Jana Matuška in Galanta. Hi, Pati. We also welcome Anna Samseliová from Gymnasium Blahoslaveného Biskupa, Biskupa Gojdiča in Prešov. Anička, hello. And the last person is Viktoria Švecová from Gymnasium Svetého Vincenta de Paul in Levice. Hello. Well, and now I think we all are eager to know who the winner is, right? So we don't want to tease you anymore. And let's announce the winner. So the winner of the category A is... Patricia Melova from Gymnasium Jana Matoška in Galanta. Congratulations! Patricia, we are giving you the word now. Is there anything you would like to say? I would just like to say that I'm thankful for my little brother who I uh, wrote my essay about and I love him so. <laughs> Perfect. I That's very cute. Was was this your first English essay competition? Yes. Great. Well, again, uh, congratulations, Patty. Thank and, you. Uh, just to let you know, uh, Patka chose the topic of what has in, in, influenced the course of your life the most and why. So now we already know that uh, it was her little brother. And the second place goes to Viktoria Švecová from Gymnasium Svatého Vincenta de Paul in Levice. Congratulations to you too, Vicky. Viktoria has chosen the same topic as Patricia. What has influenced the course of your life the most and why? And the beautiful third place goes to Anna Samsiliová from Gymnasium Blahoslaveného biskupa Gojdiča in Prešov. Anna wrote about her view on being cool in this world. Anička, congratulations. And now... Let's enjoy 
the first performance of our evening. It will be a performance from our Leave Academy Year 3 student, Yasmina Pustayova, and she will be playing the guitar and singing a song from John Mayer called Something Like Olivia. So let's enjoy. <laughs> Now that we have enjoyed this beautiful performance by Yasmin, let's go back to the categories. Exactly. And right now we will be announcing the winners of the category B. And this category was prepared for year three and year four high school students. And I can imagine you are also very eager to meet the finalists with us. So they should be in the stream right now. So. Hello to Zuna Hochelová from Gymnasium Gröslingova in Bratislava. Hi, Zuna. Also, hello to Viktoria Leshova from Gymnasium Ludovita Štúra in Michalovce. To Viktoria uh, Alexandra Špáníková from Gymnasium Velká Okružná in Žilina. And last but not least, Šimon Kerry from Gymnasium Jana Krála in Zlaté Moravce. Congratulations to all of you because you showed that you can deliver a very good academic essay on your chosen topic. But as it goes, only one can be the winner. So let's find out who it will be. So the winner of category B is... Zuna Hocholova from Gymnasium Groslingova in Bratislava. Congratulations, Zuna. <laughs> Now it's time for you to say a few words. The floor is yours. Anything you would like to say? Oh, well, thank you. I would certainly like to thank for the opportunity to participate as I think that, you know, providing such a platform for young people is uh, super significant, uh, especially nowadays, as we see that uh, not everyone is able to formulate the ideas properly. And um, I think it's super important. So thank you. Thank you, Zuna. And we will tell our viewers that you chose an interesting topic and we have a question for you. The topic is to ensure democracy, should voting be requirement and is it is in it, as it is in some other countries 
such as Australia or Latin American countries. And our question is, why did you chose this topic? Um, I'm quite interested in politics and um, I think it's super significant to um, be aware of the level of democracy in the world and how is it ensured in uh, different countries. And there are, I chose a topic, so. Yeah. We agree with you. We also think that this is important. Thank you uh, and congratulations to you again. The second place goes to Shimon Keri, who was writing about his understanding of freedom. Congratulations to you too. And we have two joint third places, which go to Victoria Leshova and Alexandra Spanikova. Congratulations, ladies. Victoria was captured by the topic, what is your understanding of freedom? And Alexandra, on the other hand, chose the topic, to ensure democracy, should voting be a requirement as it is in some other countries, such as Australia or Latin American countries? Well, and now that we have announced the winner of our second category, category B, let's enjoy another performance of our student, Matej Chachik. It's also our year three student, and he will be playing the guitar and singing again. And it's a song from Glenn Hansard and Marketa Irglova called Falling Slowly. We hope you enjoyed this performance as much as we did. Now we would like to shortly tell you a little bit about what Leaf Academy is. Leaf Academy is an international boarding high school. Our mission is to provide a world-class education for active students from the Central European region and beyond, regardless of their socioeconomic backgrounds. And now let's uh, watch a short video 
where our students, but also our teachers will talk a little bit more about what Leave Academy means to them. So just sit back and enjoy. Would you believe me that there is this high school that provides world-class education, friendly and supportive environment, and besides, everything runs in English, so then wherever you go in the future, you won't get lost. Well, I know you wouldn't. Then let me introduce you to Leave Academy. The way we approach learning is very innovative. Our teachers and students engage to explore and develop their skills and mindset every day. And one way of achieving this is through letting people work in teams and helping them realize their ideas into real life projects. Our students come in with zero to some experience with the real projects and we slowly take them through experiences like serving the community here at Leave Academy, through helping people outside. Towards the end of their studies, or especially the last two years, they are focused on student enterprises. So we create an environment where students are designing new services and products that can help uh, people outside and help them in a sustainable way. What I value about entrepreneurial leadership is that it provides us with resources to work on something we are passionate about and that we consider important for our society and at the same time gives us a space to develop real-life skills such as project management, teamwork or communication with clients. Leave Academy made the transition between high school and university much smoother. Um, it taught me how to work with people, how to work in a team, how to cooperate, how to find consensus, especially with different personalities. Moreover, Leave Academy helped me to build my self-confidence. Right now at university, I'm not afraid to start my own project. Uh, and I find it very valuable because that is what life is all about, either at university or in the workplace. So I learned it by doing. We believe that learning happens best when students understand the relevance of what they're studying, when they practice skills and competencies in a group setting that's connected to the real world. We are trying to get the students to also understand the important values of ethics, of excellence, of civic engagement and entrepreneurial leadership that will help them shape the cities, regions, countries to which we hope they will return in the future. We also offer high-level AP subjects ranging from science to humanities and art. Students can choose these in the last two years of their studies based on their interest or future plans. So, you learned a lot about the academy, right? But what about the people and the residential life here? Leaf Academy is a boarding school where students interact in the evenings, they cook together, have fun together, play, learn, they are able to support each other and this creates uh, an amazing community for them. Another thing which we find amazing about boarding life is the tremendous growth we see in students on a pretty much a daily basis. They become much more mature, independent and able to take care of themselves, which is a great life skill for their futures. Uh, one of the things I really like about LEAF and I uh, found to be a very pleasant surprise is the people here. Uh, I've made a lot of friends here who are very interesting people and also down to earth. Uh, throughout the year as a community we have a lot of fun activities. Uh, these include hall paintings, hall competitions and our weekly football matches. Uh, it's a great way for the community to get together and get to know each other. And it's a lot of fun as well. Interested? Apply and join us at LEAF Academy. And now, without any further ado, let's move to, to the announcement of the winner of the category C. This category was organized for students of bilingual secondary schools and any other student of any year who has experienced education in English abroad. And we should have the finalists with us by now. So let's welcome Lucia Dudkova from Spojená škola Novohradská in Bratislava. Hi, Lucia. Natalia Martončíková from Evangelické gymnázium Jana Amosa Komenského in Košice. Hello. Sara Krupšová, also from Evangelické gymnázium Jana Amosa Komenského in Košice. And last but not least, 
Adam Zoltan Anderko from Bilingvalne Gymnasium Pavla Josefa Šafárika in Rožňava. Hello. Well, and now let's find out who will be the winner in our last category. The winner of the category C is... Adam Zoltan Anderko. Congratulations, Adam. <laughs> Adam, the world is, world is yours now. Um, how do you feel and uh, what would you like to say? Uh, I would like to say that I am very grateful for the recognition I have received for my essay because I am sure that there were many other competitors with an equally high or even higher uh, English writing skills. So thank you. I really appreciate it and I'm looking forward to reading the essays of other competitors. Thank you very much, Adam. And why did you choose the, the topic? that you chose? Uh, because I think that it's very, it's very important to uh, educate people and not only uh, like students but also adult people about the problems with nationalism and with uh, also patriotism because many people think that it's the same when in, in reality it couldn't be uh, further from the truth. And Adam, if there is uh, a viewer watching us right now and if, if he's thinking about signing up for an essay competition, whatever essay competition in the future, how would you encourage him or her? I would encourage him by saying that uh, he really shouldn't be afraid to try something like this because in the end he has nothing to lose or she. Uh, and they can only gain something in the least, uh, for example, experience. Thank you. Thank you very much, Adam. And you mentioned that you'd like to read the other essays and you all actually can because um, later you will be able to read all the winning essays on our Leave Academy web page. You can see it right now on the screen. So, or also in the online magazine, The Slovak Spectator. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Adam. And we'd also like to announce uh, the second wonderful place that goes to Lucia Dudkova. Lucia, congratulations. She chose the topic of, does building walls help solving the problem? The third place is, again, joined and goes to Natalia Martonchikova, who chose the topic, does patriotism have a negative or positive influence on societies today? And Sara Krupsheva, who chose the topic, the role of media in a democratic society. Congratulations to all of our finalists from this last category. According to our jurors, it was not at all an easy task uh, to choose the winners among such brilliantly written, written essays. And um, what do all of our finalists win? They will be awarded book vouchers, having their essays published in the online magazine, Kindle ebook reader, and many more. And if you like this ceremony, you can always consider signing up to Leave Academy and the applications are open till February 2028. You can check out our web page and find out more information there. So this is it. This event is slowly coming to its end. And we have nothing else to say than a huge thank you to all the participants, all the viewers, jurors, partners, and the team that worked hard on making this ceremony come true. And uh, I really hope you had fun as much as me and Sophie did. And this was a great experience <laughs> for us. And we hope that there are many more to come in the future. So goodbye, goodbye and, and see, see you, you then. then.
partners of English essay competition are Slovak Chamber of English Language Teachers, Martinus, the Slovak Spectator, and The Bridge.